hoping that you can hear me. Um, and I'm also hoping that I'll be able to see some comments. Um, it's showing me that there are a couple of people on right now. I am going live. Oh, yay, I'm seeing comments. That's wonderful. Hi, Patty. I didn't... I'm going live to StreamYard and to... I mean, I'm going live on StreamYard to Facebook and to YouTube. Um, so I'm not sure whether or not it was going to work. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Chloe, thank you for joining. Laura, thank you for joining. Can you guys give me the thumbs up if you can hear me? Um, and tell me if I need to turn my mic up. And hopefully there is no echo. I have tested this a million times. Um, so I'm hoping I did this right. I'm not doing anything fancy. Uh, I just wanted to have... Oh, yay. Patty, thank you. I'm good. I just want to make sure that uh, I say hello to everybody. And that I can be heard. See, I can hear an echo. And that's only because I'm hearing it through my own mic. So as long as you guys don't hear echoes and you hear me well, that's great. So this is where my webcam camera is. And I'm going to make this portion bigger shortly. But first, I just wanted to say hi. Um, let's see. It looks like Chloe's watching from YouTube. Can hear air but not too bad okay you're hearing my air conditioner right above me I have it on low unfortunately I can't shut it off because it's I'm in the basement and it would be way too hot down here I'd, I'd be perspiring so I don't want to turn it off um, so hopefully it's not too bad and you can hear me I'll try to talk loud or even put my mic up a little bit if I need to anyway uh, once again my name let me or not once again but let me introduce myself because there may be people watching from YouTube that have never watched before uh, I don't know how many comments I'm going to see at a time let me go to my laptop and see um, oh I, I am seeing others Laura Schuler, Laura Yellow, Chloe thank you so much for being here um, I guess you didn't have to allow Stream here. I'm going to click on one of your comments to see if it shows up on the screen. And it does. Thank you, Laura. There you are. I am. So I'm just testing that and I'll take it away. I also have other banners and things, but I'm not going to mess around with that stuff. This is all too new for me. So anyway, my name is Antoinette Bay. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Limbrook, New York. I've been a demonstrator since 2009. Um, just a little backstory is that uh, when my daughter was, she must have been in brownies. I was a brownie leader. I wanted to do the, all those things, you know, stay at home moms do. So I decided that I was gonna work out here in Long Island and give up my job in Manhattan. And to supplement my income, I decided I was going to do Stampin' Up! because I always loved paper crafting. Um, and then I attended a, uh, an event and I got hooked. So that's the end of that story. <laughs> um, I could give you more details about it, but we'll move on. Um, we are going to, let's get into the projects. We're going to make um, three cards tonight. So it's a card class at the end. Um, and hopefully in the description of this video, you'll see my store and link to my store and a host code. So you can earn this kit for free. Uh, the only thing you'll have to pay for is the shipping of the kit, which is minimal, three anywhere between three and five dollars, depending on where you live in the United States only. Um, so, um, so just stay, stay tuned and um, you'll see the cards and decide if you wanna get the kit for free. Um, with a minimum $35 purchase in my online store. So I just want to give you those details for anyone that might be interested later. I see Heather. Hello. I see Jean. And I saw someone else made a comment. Now I can't see it. Lois? Can't stay long, but I'll watch replay later. Okay. 
All right, I'm saying hello. I wanted to say hello to everybody a little bit while um, you're jumping in. And now I'm going to switch you down. Let's see if I can remember how to do this to a different screen. Um, how do I focus on, all right, I'm gonna remove myself and make, okay. I'll bring myself back in later. So here we are. We're using two new stamp sets, but we're using retired designer series paper. Last week, uh, two weeks ago, I used retire, retired designer series paper. This week, I'm also using retired designer series paper. So that way I give you some ideas on how to use some of that stash up. Um, so let's get started with the first card. I'll move this stuff over and I will share with you everything else that we're using before we get started. Um, I'll share all the retired items first. So this was retired. It was called Snail Mail. And this is a long time retired Baker's Twine. All of this, all these pieces are in your kit. Um, this is Tasteful Textiles, which is retired. The stitch shapes are retired. We do have something similar in the new catalog and all squared away is retired. I'm only using these little flowers and this flower here in this kit, but I did want to share the things that are retired that I'm using. Um, I'm using uh, this retired ribbon came from a double pack and I'm using this retired ribbon that came from a double pack. So those are the retired items that you can't get in the catalog anymore and I do want to tell you that ahead of time. And then the items that we're using that are current are my favorite uh, iridescent rhinestones. Now in this kit I am using these rhinestones but they are these are the only things that are not included in your kit beside the stamp set, um, the inks, and these are not included, okay? You get all the paper cut up and die cut and embossed and things. I'm using the Quiet Meadow just for this piece right here. These mic, hold on one second, I have to get rid of this mic. Okay, maybe I can't hear myself now. Layering circles I'm using. I'm using Forever Flourishing. Um, penned flowers and tailor-made tags. So those are the current things I'm using along with Amazing Year and Cottage Rose for sentiments. So I'll put all of this over to the side until we're ready to use it. And now we'll get card number one. Now, I can't recall what this paper was called. Um, don't remember if anyone here is a demonstrator remembers what this paper was called please let me know this was the back of this one this comes from a different kit um, I don't remember this kit but these are all things that I have hanging around so this is what your kits gonna look like so card number one all of these pieces come cut and embossed for you you can see the embossing there and you get the envelope and then in a little baggie you get all the little pieces Okay, trying to make sure that I'm not echoing and that you can hear me. All right, so let's get started. For this card, this piece is for the inside, so I always put that on the inside of the card so you know that it's the insert. I'll put it over to the side for now. And then you have the envelope and an embossed piece, and then you have this piece is for the inside. So we'll put that to the side and we'll just work with what we're gonna do to the front first. So I'm going to take, this is also retired. It's a distressing tool and it's also retired. So I'm going to just distress. Distress this. And also if you don't have a distressor, your scissors will work just as well. Okay. And then we're going to take this piece, the scallop piece, and put that right on there. I'll cut the edges off, but um, I wanted to mention that 
these ideas came from other cards that I created um, a while back and toward the end I'm going to show you the cards that I created because I cased myself you didn't hi Sandy you didn't miss too much at all we're just getting started this is the first card so now I'm just going to cut off those edges I don't know, Heather's on here. Maybe, Heather, you remember what this paper's called? I don't know. I can't recall. Okay, so now this piece is going to go on here like this. Oh, no, this is not. This piece is going to go on here. So if you do decide that you want the kit and you place your $35 minimum order, you can also bump it up to $50 and get a free celebration item. But... Um, to put the cards together at home, you'd come back to this video, which would be saved on either YouTube or Facebook Live. Okay, so this is gonna go right here at the bottom. Um, where's my adhesive? Whoops. And this is going to go right over it, but I want a little bit of the white on top. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to share uh, two cards that I'm giving away uh, that I made a couple of weeks ago. One to someone that shared my video two weeks ago, and one to that um, commented. I'm not going to put the names in a bowl or do the wheel. Um, I just kind of scrolled my um, cursor up and down on all the comments and landed on somebody, and that's who I picked. Okay, so that's that. So now let's take this piece. This is the base. And we'll put this down. I'm going to put this one down with liquid glue so I can move it around to where it's much more forgiving moving, um, moving it around with liquid glue as I'm sure you are aware so this one I want to put right on top and I want to have a little bit more there we go just about an even space on the top and the bottom okay. and now before we do this glue that down we're going to take our items out of the baggie and I always suggest not taking anything out of the baggie until you really need to use it so you don't lose anything. So right now I'm just using the ribbon and the thread. So I'm going to keep the flowers in there. Well, they just popped out anyway. I was going to keep the flowers in there. I'll keep the few that I have there. Now I'm going to cut this ribbon in half. a little bit different to looking at my screen to make sure that I'm in focus I mean the webcam is literally like I don't know six inches away from my hands okay so now it's cut in half and I wanted it nice and thin and I'll tie a bow now uh, actually, I'm not going to tie a bow yet. Let's take this piece. I have two pieces in here. The longer piece, which is going to be bowed, and the shorter piece, which is going around the card right here. 
and then I am going to add some adhesive to the back. Um, just curious, did you guys have to get, uh, hi Pam, hi Lynn, did you guys have to give um, permission to let StreamYard um, know that you were here so I can possibly click on a comment, which I'm going to do right now just to share. Um, so Carmen, I'm, uh, the paper is Garden Impressions. Okay, I'm going to share that. The paper is Garden Impressions. Can you all see that? Um, there's Patty and her husband and her name and uh, her answer to my question. I'm hoping that you all can see that. Um, so Carol said she didn't have to give permission. Hmm, I'm surprised. Unless you've given permission to StreamYard before on another person's um, live. Okay, I, I wonder if you've ever done that. So are you all seeing this? Um, uh, Patty's name and her comment? I'm just wondering. I'll look up. Um, okay, and Judy had a comment too. We'll move on in just a second. I'm, I'm kind of playing a little bit while we're working because this is the first time I'm using StreamYard. I love the way you cut ribbons apart and mix with other ones. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do right now is mix it with another. Okay, so we have these going on. And we'll just adhere that here. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the table. And I really am going to try not to smack this webcam because it is so close to me. I can very easily smack it and shake the whole table. Okay, I want to bring this down a little bit. I want a little bit more white showing up there. Okay. And then let's do the tag. The tag is over here. So I'm going to use Versamark and white embossing powder and from Cottage Rose I'll use Feel Better Soon because I like the way it fits on the tag so I'm going to use it again and we'll use the Versamark and some of the embossing buddy to get any little specks of dust or off the paper. Let me go like this so I'm not shaking the whole table. Okay, yes, Vicki says yes, um, and Lynn says yes. You see the comment, seeing everything. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for your hearts. I see some hearts and some likes coming up. And please, please share the video. Um, the more you share, the more Facebook will recognize. Facebook and maybe YouTube now, too. So I hope I'm going live on YouTube. I should be. Um, so the more likes, shares, hearts, comments I get, the more Facebook will recognize that I am a person or that people want to see, a program, I should say, that people would like to see. So that is something small that you can do to help me to get a little bit more exposure. Okay, it is going to get loud for a second while I use the heat tool. So if you'd like to turn down your volume. I'm sorry, I'm sure that's very loud. In fact, let me turn off the mic for a second. So is that better that I turned off the mic? I hope so. Now I know how all these other demonstrators 
that I've seen do these things. Now I know how they do it. I learned their trick. Okay. So I am going to... I don't think I'm going to loop it through here. What I think I'm going to do is just tie a knot and then I'll stick the tag right underneath the knot. I hope the lighting's okay. It looks okay. Okay. So there, we have lots of ribbon going on there. I'm gonna cut some of it down, but for now, that's all I need to do right there. Hmm. Let's see, let's put some dimensionals and see how this goes. So today was Stampin' Up's registration for their, uh, what they call on stage. So I guess it used to be called convention before pre-COVID days. You know what? I think we are gonna tie this around the loop. It's not sitting the way I want to. Let's try it out. Um, so I'm gonna take my tweezers. So today was the day to register and all of my um, my team sidelines um, that I'm friendly with are all going to Arlington, Texas. So I signed up for the Arlington, Texas on stage in November. And um, I'm hoping to be able to make it. I'm not 100% sure that I can, but I am registered just in case. And then if I can't make it, I'll get the swag bag. So the last trip my friends went on, I wasn't able to make, which was back in March. And I really missed them. So I really hope to be able to make this trip. And one of my friends is on here that I saw uh, from that are on my sideline, um, Heather. Okay, isn't that fun? All right, let's take out the flowers. Now, it's taken me a little bit longer tonight than usual just because I'm trying to keep watch on comments and how things are going here. And Carmen says lighting is good, no echo, sound and lighting all great. Oh, this is great. Thank you so much for all the feedback. Oh, Sandy says fingers crossed that, oh, I should really do this, right? Fingers crossed that I can make it. Me too. I am crossing my fingers and my toes. Okay, so this piece, I'm just going to cut two little leaves off up here. That's all I need. And then we'll save that for the inside. And then here, I'm just going to do three pieces. And I'm going to use glue dots for these. Actually, no, I'm not going to use glue dots. I can very well just put a few dots of glue, liquid glue. One, two, and one more. Give me a little dot right there. Okay. Oh, I forgot this. Okay, let me stick this underneath there. Oh goodness, I have nails too, a little bit of nail, and I can't grab it. Let me grab this and put a little liquid glue behind there. Okay, now there's the leaves. Let's do the inside, and then we'll put on our gems. Hmm, I cut myself a small piece here. The piece is too small. Why did I do that? Maybe I'll go this way. Yeah, we'll go that way. Go 
that way. And then cut the excess off. So uh, when I show you later where I um, case this from myself, um, the paper that I cased it from is also retired now, but I just want you to see how pulling out your retired paper, I'm sure I'm not telling you something that you don't already know, that you could just create the same design using so many different papers, right? And just use it, use it all up. And a couple more leaves. And that flower. A couple of flowers. Okay. Now let's get the gems. If I could find where I put them. So we'll get the smallest gems. I used these last time, I think, too, last class. So these are the smallest gems right here. I'm going to put them, even though this is going on the inside of the card, I am going to put them on the inside. I think those are the smallest. Yes, they are. Okay. Let's put this on the inside. cute. It's cute. And then let's put some gems on the outside. And here I did a, um, I kind of did a, did I do a large one? Let's see. We'll put a large one there and another one here. And then we'll put one on each flower. Can I be louder? Okay, sure. I'm going to also turn up the mic then. I think if I move right a, a little bit away from here, you can't hear me anymore. Okay, I'll turn up the mic. Hopefully that's going to do it. All right, let's turn. Let's cut some of this off. It's a bit much. Okay, and there you have it, card one. Um, let me go to the mic, Carol, and hold on one second, and I will make it louder. Hopefully that makes a difference. Otherwise I'll try to stay as close as possible. Okay, so that's card number one. Let me bring it up a little bit closer for you. And then the inside. And then the envelope. Okay, now let's move on to card number two. So here was my original. Um, if you could see it, I kind of spliced it together here because I didn't want to waste paper. I cut it, the original, I cut it too short. And then I took that piece and I spliced it together. It's just my sample. Nobody's going to get that one. And this one, the piece went all the way across and I didn't put the flowers in, but so that's just the sample. Okay, now on to card number two. You love the bow. Why am I not seeing other comments? Who's the Facebook user? Um, I'm not sure. This is the... Who, do you want to say who you are? Um, I'm not sure why you're not seeing other comments. This is um, new to me, so I don't know. Um, are you YouTube? You're a Facebook user. Okay, so I'm not sure. Is everyone not seeing other comments? Okay, in this kit, there are way too many pieces because this is like my sample. So I'm going to put them all aside. You're not getting all of these pieces. You'll only be getting the pieces that we actually use tonight. All the kits are already prepared, but this was my sample kit. And that is why all these extra pieces are there. 
Oh, hi, Deb. Um, I don't know. Like I said, this is all new to me. Um, so I'm not quite sure. So I'll have to figure that out why you're not seeing other people's comments. Uh, Judy's saying she can see them. So maybe it's something in your settings. I'm not sure. But I'll have to look into that. All right card number two. Now on my sample I used, I didn't use this gingham paper. I used um, some ribbon but the ribbon did not show up well enough for me so I'm not using it tonight. Okay so this is my base. This is um, Black Bla Blackberry Bliss and this is um, the insert for the Blackberry for this card. So I'll put that in there. This is the time-worn folder, which is current. Okay, so I'm going to add this strip to the back of this. Patty's seeing everything. So yeah, Deb, it might be something on your end that you'll have to look into as to why you're not seeing comments. So um, here we go, we have this strip. I wish I could help you, but I can't because I'm not tech savvy enough. And then this is gonna go on top of here. If this would, oh, I'm running out, that's why. Okay, I have one with a refill right there. I'm really loving my new setup. Down here, my table's so much bigger. Um, if you were with me a couple of weeks ago, I'm using um, my mom's, my parents, my parents' dining room table that I had refinished. I have both leaves in it, and it's my desk, and I love it. I had it refinished along with the china closet and buffet. And one day, as soon as it's all cleaned up, I will show you. Okay, so there's that. And now we can put this on the base. And I'm going to use liquid glue for this. And that way I can move it around because this is very, just an eighth of an inch smaller all around. And I wanna be able to see some of that base evenly on the card. So you see how I'm easily just moving it around. I have a little bit more showing on this side than this side, but that is going to have to do. Okay, so next is this tag and this tag, okay, and this one I'm putting down this way, but I'm going to put dimensionals on it. And you know I love dimension, and I love to use these things. I have a whole drawer, I don't know, must have like 20 packs of these. I use them so much. Pam Mantion. I, oh, let's put your comment up there if you don't mind. I've missed your lives and your cards. Well, I've missed everybody here, and I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for joining. Let's put that one that way. It's good to see you back here, too. Um, and let's put this this way. And I'll use some liquid glue. And I'm playing right now with, uh, between doing these cards and playing with the StreamYard features because really, I don't know any other time I'm really going to be able to um, play with it unless I'm actually live or I have a practice group with just myself and my daughter and my husband. Um, and I must, like I said, I must have practiced a hundred times to make sure that sound was good. I was I was having a hard time figuring out sound and it's still not perfect. I 
it's still not where I want it to be, but I'll just continue to play. But for a first go at it, I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this set. Thank you for sharing. Oh, Deborah shared, Laura shared. Oh, I appreciate it. Laura says, what did Laura says? Laura say, I always like this paper and have some left over. Nat, great. Use it up. It's called, it's a retired, Deborah, this is retired. Um, it's called, my friend Heather told me what it was, uh, Garden Impressions. It's called Garden Impressions. Okay. So I'm going to take, you are at positively the greatest because it fits so nicely in here. And I'm going to use Old Olive Ink. this stitch circle and I'm going to try to stay up a little higher because I have this leaf going on the bottom so I don't think you could see my head but I'm sorry if you can okay it's good good height okay let's move that over and move this over and then we'll put this on, clean these up a little bit. I'm going to use a glue dot here. Thank you so much for sharing too and for telling me that you shared because when I go back and I look on Facebook to see who shared, it, depending on what your settings are, if you're set to private, I won't see it. So if you don't tell me that you shared it, I won't necessarily know that you shared. So thank you for saying that. Now I have the three flowers. And I'm going to use glue dots for these. But before I do that, I want to kind of like curve them a little bit. So I'm going to take a stylus and my mat and I'm going to go like this and it just kind of curls it a little bit. I don't know if you can see that but it just curls the flowers a bit and I like the way that looks. And then I'll get blue dots behind there. Sorry. No more on here. Okay. Let's see where the rest are. didn't come off. So I think I'm going to actually get a few pieces of hardware, something to get my setup a little bit. My phone is acting as a camera on me. So, oops, excuse me one second, I dropped something. Okay. Which you can't see right now. I'll put myself add to stream. Oh, you know what? I should have been doing that all along. So now you can see me working as well. Um, so this, the the part where you see me in the in the camera is where my phone is, and so this is where you can kind of see this piece right here, which I don't like. But that's where my webcam is. And it's just a piece of rubber band holding the webcam together. And then right above this is my camera, my phone camera. I'm using my phone camera uh, to come live so you could see me. And this is the webcam. And then I have my laptop controlling the screen and screen kind of things. So, you know, this is like 
it's unbelievable that I got this far because I am so technology challenged that and I've been wanting to do this for such a long time um, this stream yard thing and I just never was brave enough to actually do it but part of it was because of the volume I just couldn't figure it out okay so you saw what I did there I put all these pieces and now I'm going to put this down here and then I will put a glue dot behind here as well I mean a dimensional right up there Whoop. that's not good peeled off the backing okay and that will go about there and then we'll put the gems on I hope that's straight now I already have this ribbon cut so this ribbon came from here which is a retired ribbon I cut it in half the other half I used on my sample I'm also going to fray it a little bit and then put it on my card and it's really long but I don't mind because it's retired ribbon so I don't know if anybody here is new uh, just joined um, but this kit that I'm making tonight is available for free um, except that you have to pay the minimal for shipping which is anywhere from three to five in the US um, all you have to do to earn it for free is make a $35 purchase in my online store and hopefully the description is in this video um, is in the description of this video so now I'm going to take a glue dot and put that down um, and I will show you what the full kit will look like let's put that down and then we have the twine which is also retired olive old olive baker's twine also in the kit so all the retired items are in your kit the only thing you need is stamps our stamps inks uh, Versamark and embossing powder and a heat tool if you'd like to do what I did on some of them and um, and that's pretty much it you need a toolkit your basic toolkit so I'm gonna put this right there with a glue dot if you have any questions I put my email in the description does anybody know if there is a description that came up on this um, on this live video uh, Colleen coming in let's see if someone could tell me well no wonder you're confused <laughs> uh, Deborah said no wonder I'm confused hi everyone coming in late we'll go back and watch from the beginning yep this video will always be here for you okay so there you go there's that let's cut this and then we'll put gems on Thank you for the share, Colleen. Okay, let's go put, oh, let's do the inside first, right? So here's the strip for the inside. I'm gonna see how I did that. And I just put this strip down. I think in the kits, I put an extra piece of this uh, greenery and flowers. I don't have them here. Oh wait, maybe I do. I have one flower here but I think I put an extra piece of this um, and I'll double check that I just don't have it in mine that's probably why I had a note on it to say use this one because I didn't have the green leaf in it and then we'll just put this down like this with a blue dot and then we'll put the gems my favorite gems so if you don't own these and you do want to place an order and you want to get to that $35 you can put these iridescent rhinestones on your list iridescent rhinestones basic jewels I used them on last week's kit and now again on this week 
this week's kit. Um, I wanted to talk about some stuff, but I'm, I'm afraid that I'll, I'll get more confused um, because of this new system that I'm using. And until I'm comfortable with it, I don't want to mess around too much. I think you can all appreciate that. So here is card number two. You are absolutely positively the greatest and you know something else you could do here is uh you can make you are positively the in blackberry bliss so say you had uh, markers in um blackberry bliss and old olive so you could do either you are absolute positively the greatest let's try that out um just give you a sample of what it might look like on a piece of scrap So let me get a piece of scrap right here. And let's just do that in Blackberry Bliss. I love to do two-tone. Just to give you an idea. And then the greatest and greatest in Old Olive and see how that looks. And I think I need a new Old Olive marker. It's getting a little bit worn. Now I'm going to hop on it just to moisten it up a bit. Yeah, that would look kind of fun too. I kind of like the all one color, but it was just an idea. So that's card number two. So we have so far uh, one, card one, and card two. Hope you like that. And then the inside would look like this because I know I put a, another leaf in there. So for right now you just have the flower, but I put another leaf in there. Okay, so I kind of took that away kind of quickly. But the video will be here for you. Oh, the inside, I forgot to put the inside in. Oh, Sandy, I got your card. I'm going to show it to everyone. I hope you don't mind. Is that okay if I show the card that you sent me in the mail? I received it last week and I wanted to wait till tonight if you tell me it's okay. Okay, now card number three. See, I put notes, use this one. So just in case something's missing. And I love, pink is my absolute favorite color. Absolute favorite color. Do you have a favorite color out there? You guys want to tell me what your favorite colors are? I should do a, a, a question on, on our Facebook page with favorite colors. Either It could be either, either a Stampin' Up! color or a color in general. A favorite color. Red and purple. Let's see. What is everybody saying? Pam is saying red and purple. Vicky's saying purple. Jean is saying purple. Wow. Is it because of the colors I'm using tonight or they are just your favorite colors in general? I'm just, I'm just so surprised to see so many purples. I'll be honest, purple is, my daughter loves purple, but purple is one of my least favorite colors. I like almost all shades of pink. So funny, purple so popular. However, I do like like lavenders and the freesia color that we have. Um, Deborah says pink is yours as well. Blackberry Bliss is Pam. Carol, what do you, you love? Balmy blue and soft succulent. Those are nice colors. Let's see, Jean Shades Hues of Purples is my most favorite all around. Wow, lots, lots of purples. Nice, okay, so thanks for sharing. I do see the, the one reason why I said to use this one. I'm going to get a piece of, hold on one second, I need to get an insert. Okay, here we go. Pam says blues. 
That's her favorite. Okay, on this one, we're going to take this one and I think it's like one and a quarter, one and a half inch piece and add the scalloped to the edge. And let's go like that. And then I'm going to add, let's leave that like that. Let me take my original here. Okay, so this checkered piece is from a really old Designer Series paper too. And I just loved it. It's probably more of a melon mambo because back then when this paper was around, we didn't have um, polished pink. I'm going to use liquid glue because I want to be able to move it around to the edge. Actually, I didn't have to do much moving around at all. That's pretty good. Okay. And this is where I'm taking the uh, splatter. I'm using a little bit of the polished pink. Uh, actually, this is all Melon Mambo. This is not polished pink. This is Melon Mambo. Mambo, Mambo. It's Melon Mambo. Is, uh, cardstock. And then what was I going to get? Oh, um, the ink, Melon Mambo ink. Okay. And I haven't used Melon Mambo in a long time because I've had um, polished pink. I'm going to take this and stamp off for a minute. Stamp off again and just add a little splatter there. That's it. I think I'm close enough to the edge. We'll use this again in a minute. Okay, now we can put this down. And I want to show about that much of the gingham. I got all this ink on me. Okay. And then we'll cut that off. And I don't know if any of you that have been with me for a while recognize what I am casing of myself, a card I'm casing of myself that I created a long time ago. Um, now we're going to stamp a sentiment on here. And that sentiment's going to come from uh, Amazing Year. To a Wonderful Friend has been one of my favorite stamps to use. So I'm going to use that again in Melon Mambo. Wow, this is really inky. I need to get some wipes. Because there's ink all over the edges of this stamp set. Do I have wipes somewhere? I have a paper towel, so I think I will wipe my hands right now with a paper towel. Let that dry a bit. It's a little bit of a juicy ink pad. And then we're going to put this right on top. I'm going to use liquid glue 
because it's just an eighth of an inch all around. And then we'll put the strip on the inside. If I can get the glue out, sometimes it gives me a hard time. Cut these edges. Everybody doing okay? This is the last card and we're almost done and then we're going to move on to sharing some of car the car couple of cards I got in the mail and giving away a card from last week's comments and then in here we're going to take one of these big ones I'll take a blue dot here. And we'll also take a leaf. right in there and for the front now we're going to start layering so I'm going to take a little bit of liquid glue on all these pieces that I'm just going to put down and I'm kind of just winging in area here I'm kind of following my Sample. Oops. So the thing about these kits, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, my kits. Do you notice how all the paper is cut for you? Um, in a lot of kits, you get maybe a 6 by 12, and I've done this too, where you get a 6 by 12 uh, paper and the tutorial where you are given measurements to cut the paper down, right? Well, I like that and I do that um, in different kind, like when I do a, subs a creative workshop, like a monthly thing. But for these weekly or bi-weekly that I'm doing now, Facebook Lives, I like doing this. Um, so that way I can offer them to you for free. Um, and what I like about this is when I go to uh, crops, say scrapbooking crops or any kind of crafting crops, it's just kind of like a grab and go. All my, I don't need to think about it. I just grab the kit. The only thing I need to think about is look at the supply list of, of what what was used as far as the ink colors and things like that oh this one I don't want to put up here I'm gonna put that one to the side so this is what I consider to be like a grab-and-go kind of kit all of the you don't need to look at dimensions or anything like that it's already cut for you everything's in the bag right down to the ribbon and even if you didn't have um, a stamp set with you, you can put them together and take them home and decide at home what stamp you want to put on, on it once you put it together. So that is my idea of fun when I'm going to crop because then I overpack, right? And I don't have to bring a trimmer or anything like that. I call it grab and go. It's all cut, it's all embossed, it's all die cut. Now you can see that I'm just kind of layering these pieces 
in. Now I have an example to follow in front of me. You don't see it, but I'm looking at it. And um, that is what I'm doing. I'm going to take, let me take this piece, this leaf. Uh, well, let's leave it there. It's staying on my finger. So if you're like me and you don't want to think about it when you go to a crop um, or an all-day crafting event, let's say, then this is ideal for you, this kit, this type of kit that all the cutting is done for you. And now I'll put this one on top. Now the label, the, the sentiment's going to go straight across there. I just want to make sure I don't need any more leaves or anything like that. And I'm just going to cut it, the sentiment, very close to the letter, first and last letter. And then I'll put some dimensionals behind. They were here. I guess I put them away. Oh, here they are. And this card has no ribbon. I did start off with some ribbon behind the sentiment, but it was taking away from the flower, so I took the ribbon away and decided to just leave it without ribbon and let the flowers and the paper kind of speak to this card okay so on the inside I have some extras here I'm sure I put some extras in your kit if you want to do different colors on the inside or add something in fact no I don't have a smaller one we'll leave it the way it is let's get some gems um, okay. get a large one Smaller one, another small one, and a medium, and a small. And maybe, nope, we don't put one on the inside. So that's one, that's five. One, two, three, four, five. This little one's a little bit too small to see. You don't really see it. I'm going to take that up. Oops, I don't want to rip the paper. And put a medium size. And that's that. Now let's bring all three together. I'll push all of this aside so it's not in the camera. And there's one. So, let's see, first one, let's make sure, see if we can get them all in, in screen. One, two, I think we can, one, two, three, yeah, there they are, there you go, and let me show you what the kit looks like actually, hold on. So just like you saw, this is what each kit looks like. So there's all your pieces in the little baggies. And yeah, there's an extra piece in here. Um, so everything you need are in the kits. What happens is right now I'm protecting it in plastic. I'll put all the pieces inside the envelope for all three cards. I'll number each card so you know which is number, you know, one, two, and three in the video. And uh, this is the video you'd refer to, this here or on YouTube. And then um, the three envelopes stuffed will be inserted in a, into a larger plastic bag. And then I use uh, fuchsia pink envelopes, jiffy padded envelopes to mail them. And uh, as I said, the only thing that you would need to do is make a $35 minimum purchase in my online store. Um, 
I, I keep forgetting. I'm looking down and I can actually look up at you. Um, you $35 minimum purchase in my online store and receive these for free. And then I would charge you for shipping via PayPal, Zelle, Venmo. Um, and then um, if you go up to 50, you can get a celebration item um, for free. And everything should be in the description um, of this video. Okay, so let me leave these here. And then I'm going to move, oh, before that, I wanna show you where um, this one and this one came from. So let's move these out of the way. So this one that I created tonight was a card that I created a long time ago on a live which is right here so I cased myself right there okay so that's the first case of myself that I did and then the other card which is um, oh I did not that was the only one that I actually cased myself because the, the other one that I, I cased is for the next my next live in two weeks. I cased myself from another card. I'll show you that another time. But I just wanted you to see where this one came from. And these two I just came up with just from looking at other cards online and changing up papers and, and products. All right, so that was that one. Now I'm going to share a couple of cards I got in the mail. Um, Sandy, I hope you're okay that I am sharing it. Um, let's see. I'm just going to share a couple of comments too while I'm at it. Anita Germano, this is really beautiful. I love seeing this retired paper again. Yep, pull it out. Pull out your retired paper. You could still use some new stamps. Nobody says that you can't use your stamps, and new or old. Um, this came via air, air mail, and I don't know where um i can't show the address um but it came from look at this beautiful card let me see who it came from i'm having a hard time under seeing the name um i don't want to share what's inside but the name i can't understand it I, i'm not sure if it's gemma's Gem, gemma gemma c and c if you're on here, please tell me that you're here. Um, but this was, this came from airmail. So, and I think that it, I don't know. I just, I, I can't understand the writing. Um, so if you, if you're here and you sent this to me, please let me know. Thank you. I love it. It's beautiful. I love all the colors. And there's that purple for all my purple lovers out there. And... Then I got Sandy's, I showed you Sandy's card a couple of weeks ago, and then I got this beauty. Look, the envelope has, um, I can't show you the front, it has her address on it, um, but there, the envelope has, um, and look at this. This is using that old uh, paper, and this is the new um, vellum paper, and this is a current stamp set. I think it's color and contour, and I love this thinking of you stamp. Look at how beautiful this card is just stunning it's from and look how she does the back heartfelt and handmade by sandy so gorgeous and she wrote me a really nice note and she did the inside as well i don't want to read the whole note but um she did do the inside um so thank you so much it's so beautiful i love it both of these cards thank you um, in two weeks when I come back, I am going to be using this designer series paper for which I have already created the cards, two of the three cards. And this paper is called Butterfly Kisses. So this is current paper that I'm using in two weeks from tonight, which is, let's see, today is the 9th, the 23rd. I'll be using this paper and like I said two of the cards have already been created I worked on a third card that I'm not crazy about so I might have to redo it so don't forget to join me in two weeks I'll um, put a notification up a few weeks a couple of days before um, and now what else did I have to share with you before let me put these down here while we're waiting for me to get ready here and make sure that I didn't forget any anything um let's see 
that's it. Okay. So, a couple of weeks ago when I was here, I made, um, this, this is one of the cards that I made. I made three cards. This is one of them. And I'm deciding to give away uh, one of the same cards. Uh, the only difference in these is the stamp that was used and the gems. So the gems are slightly different. These gems are more of a clear gem. And this is a, a uh, sparkly gem. So for um, um, light, uh, commenting, and I scrolled up and down with my um, cursor and it landed on Gina Zaremba. That is who won this card for um, commenting. And I'm going to have to fix this ribbon, but yep, for commenting, Gina, I have your address because we are sidelines and I know your address, so you'll be getting that card in the mail. And another person that I threw, there were only a few names for sharing, and I threw all the names into um, what, you, if you've been around for a while, um, I threw it in the bucket, and the person for that one is, for sharing, is Carol Schaefer. Carol, I know you go by Carol Spanos Schaefer, I think, I, I think you do. So this one is yours best wishes okay and there's the inside so thank you for sharing so for everyone that shared tonight I'll be throwing you in a bucket and picking and for everyone that comments I'll be scrolling through comments and um, letting my cursor land somewhere it's just the way I used to do it is very very time-consuming so I'm trying to make things a little bit easier on myself so I can come to you live every couple of weeks so I hope you can appreciate that I am going to take a sip of my iced coffee I've been making um, this is kind of big for an evening coffee but I've been making my own coffee and making keeping it in the fridge cold which is something I never do and the reason I'm doing that is because my daughter drinks a lot of iced black coffee and she picks it up from the store before she goes to work. I'm trying, you know, she comes here and she works out of my house. So trying to, you know, make it so that, you know, we have it in the house so she doesn't have to go out to the store and buy it all the time because uh, she can make it in her own house, but she won't. So I'm trying to make it here. So um, that way she can enjoy it in the house instead of going out and buying it because those things are expensive, right? Anyway, um, I'm glad this worked out tonight. It seems to have worked out and, um, I can't wait to go back and look at your comments that I didn't see. I see another comment came in from a name that from YouTube. Uh, somebody is watching from YouTube. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful cards and amazing creativity. Hugs. Oh, thank you, Rosemary. Thanks for being here. That was really nice. Everybody, thank you so much for being here and for the support. I so appreciate it. And for your patience if uh, things weren't running as smoothly and took a little longer tonight. If you have any questions at all about anything tonight, here is my email address, abay at thepaperpapillion.com. If you have any interest in earning this kit for free, Gina and Carol, I'll be getting your cards in the mail. Oh, Carol, you're here. Oh, good. I'm glad you're here to say thank you so much. I will message you my new address. Oh, you have a new address. Okay, great. Definitely send me um, via email. That would be better. abay at thepaperpapillion.com. Um, that is the best place for me to get um, messages. Uh, sometimes I don't see Facebook messages or things like that. So I'd appreciate it if you could just send it here. Okay. All right. Thanks again. And I hope to see you in two weeks. I'll be here on the 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And I hope to see you in two weeks. Okay. Now let's see if I can end the video. Let's see how I do this. Bye every... Oh, wait. I want to do something. This in the little stream. See? I'm just getting used to how to do this. But anyway had fun and I hope you did too and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.